In this video I'm going to have a go at making the buffers. There are two buffers at the rear of the tender and two on the front buffer beam. Taking a closer look they appear to be made of leather held together with some metal straps. To establish some dimensions I made up a card drawing. This is printed out four times full size. To simulate the leather I decided to use some MDF. I proceeded to split the buffer into sections. I started with the smaller discs and turned these up on a mandrel in the lathe. Next I look at the larger discs. So I'm just busy machining the uh, shoulder on these MDF discs. So I've done three here already. So I'm just using this as my backing up stack. So I'll just put it on there, clamp it down. So I'm just using my chamfering tool. Switch on. Go in half a millimetre. Cuts quite well. Turn it round. So I'm just putting a radius on these corners now. Just using the smaller spaces as a little bit of packing. Time to make up the metal rings which will represent the metal straps. Okay, so we'll start at zero. Five turns. One, two, three, four, five. So we're just setting our drilling at the moment. Put a little mark on. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the hole spotted for what would be the nails that go through to hold on these rings. Uh, eight off in total. So we also want to spot some holes that would be the uh, nails that hold down the leather strap that goes along um, the buffer. Uh, that's four of those. So I've just eyeballed the position to what I think looks right. So basically starting from zero, it's four turns, one, two, three, four, and then back three holes. Turns in the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and back three holes.
So I'm just using a little bit of Loctite which will hopefully hold the rivet against the steel. Pick up a rivet, shorten it a bit. And a bit of Loctite, find somewhere to put it. Okay, so they're sticking a bit too proud, so we'll just give them a file down. Next I look at the end cap. Next I look at making the metal flange. I'm going to make some square headed pins that represent these bolts.
Before I do the final assembly I'm going to give all these a coat of black paint. So the buffers on the original engine, although they look like leather, they're quite uh, blackened. So I'm just going to take these discs and just add a little bit of uh, pencil to darken them down a bit. And just smudge it out with the uh, swab. or cotton bud so I just made up these brass tubes so we need a um, a ring Add a bit of epoxy. I need a disc. Add some epoxy. Right, we have to get the orientation right, so I'll just put a, a rivet in the hole that goes to be used for the strap. And do the same for the other one. And just line those up. So that should actually go through there like that. And then one of these goes on top. But we'll leave that off till later on. So I've actually got some very thin uh, leather here. Which I'm going to use for the straps to go along the length of the uh, buffers. So I'm going to cut these 2.5 millimeters wide. So I'm just using a drill shank to get my ruler in the right sort of position. Doesn't look too bad. Okay. Just make a hole in the centre Okay, 
Need to make some glue. So it's pretty tricky, but we'll just keep going. Trim off this end. And there we have it. So that's all the bits uh, finished. So I'm just roughing up the uh, MDF on these buffers a little bit, which uh, represents the leather, just to get some light and dark patches, just to. Hopefully make it look a little bit more realistic. So I've uh, smudged the ends of the buffers a bit to darken them down a bit with, with some uh, lead pencil. So it just remains to give them a coat of uh, varnish. I'm going to use some clear polyurethane matte finish varnish. Okay, that's them finished. So we'll just have a quick look and see what they look like on the engine. So in the final assembly, I looked like those in place. Ah, it doesn't look too bad. Not 100% but acceptable. Thanks for watching. 
see you next time.